What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet, and I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. Let me read you this headline, folks, because you're going to enjoy this. The United Kingdom to loan back Ghana's looted crown jewels. Ain't this about a bitch? So, so for those who don't know what that means, the United Kingdom who stole the Kingdom of Ghana's gold and their a lot of their artifacts and masks and everything else that they looted back during the good old days of colonialism, they are going to loan back Ghana some of these ancient artifacts from their people and their culture. Not give back, loan back. So you'll be able to put it on display in your country for a little while, but I guess you got to give it back at some point, which is bullshit, okay? This is the highest degree of caucasity. This is white culture is what it is, okay? You know, oftentimes you see a lot of these Negroes, whether it be Thomas Sowell, or some of these relationship gurus like Anton Daniels, and they always want to degrade black people by saying, oh, look at black culture, or black culture is the problem, or black culture is trash. And they find like the worst black people ever put up a video of them and then say that that's all black people, and that, that's, that's the entirety of black culture. What you never see are any of these fools or any of their white counterparts ever bring up some of the dastardly, demonic, and evil things that whites have done to not just black people, but people across the globe for centuries now, okay? And when it's basically like they've gotten to the point where I guess since they won or, or they consider themselves the winner, in this racial war that has been going on on this planet since they decided to leave Europe and spread out like a disease. Uh, they figure now that they are the winners. They get to make up the rules as they go along. And that's basically all white supremacy is, is white people making up the rules as they go along. As we've all said it before, I'm white and I say so. This uh, United Kingdom, England, their government loaning back all of the looted gold and jewels that they stole from Ghana is the ultimate version of that. The fact that you stole this stuff from us, you stole our history, you stole our culture, you stole our language from us, you stole our kingdoms from us, and... We're supposed to be cool with you just letting us hold it for a little bit. Oh, oh, you're so gracious, Mr. White Man. Thank you for letting me hold my stuff for a little while. Stuff that you stole from me. Stuff that your ancestors killed my ancestors to take away from us. Sold us into slavery and killed us and brought diseases and everything else. But now you're going to just loan back my stolen heritage. Stuff that belongs to me by right. Now, when it comes to white people, uh, everything that's theirs is theirs. And apparently what's ours is theirs too. That's how they see it. You know, they figure they conquered us fair and square. So they're allowed to take whatever they want from us. And if they have it in their hearts to give back a little bit, give us a little loan back, that's, that's up to them. Right. And once again, absolutely disgusting. And I'm wondering, would, would the UK government have done this if the queen wasn't dead? If she wasn't rotting in hell right now with, uh, was, it, was it Prince? The Prince that he, you know, I wonder if, if they weren't rotting in, in, in Satan's nutsack right now. I wonder, would they have decided to give back some of these crown jewels that they stole from Ghana? I wonder that. Because, you know, the, the British monarchy prides itself on stealing shit from other people. 
and taking things away from other people and, and holding on to conquered artifacts that they stole from other people. They can't destroy it. They can't rape it. They'll just steal it and hold on to it and claim it as theirs. And it's disgusting when I see stories like this. This happened not too long ago, maybe a couple of years ago before the pandemic with the French as well. They were giving back or loaning back some of the artifacts that they stole from Africa. It's just, it's ridiculous. And once again, you'll have these buffoons get online talking about the, the worst things about black culture, but won't bring up shit like this. This is white culture. It's okay to steal from other people as long as you conquer them and it's, it's all yours. You know, that, that's where they get the whole notion of, you know, uh, Columbus discovered America, even though there were people already here. He didn't discover anything. He was, he was actually off track. And then you got other things like, uh, you know, the, the quote unquote founding fathers and all their bullshit talking about this is such a, a great country and all men are created equal, but we're going to build that equality off the backs of an entire race of enslaved people. That's a bunch of nonsense. But this is the stuff that they preach. This is their culture. You know, it's okay to be a, a complete hypocrite. And this is the, the ultimate hypocrisy. How are you going to loan something back to me that you stole from me? You understand that? And, and these Negroes in Ghana are going for it, too. Look, let's listen to what one of them says. One of the uh, people that's part of the Ashanti court uh, where the, the, these, these two, uh, I'm sorry, where these jewels were stolen from. He's one of the chief negotiators saying, like, it, it, we, we hope for a new sense of cultural cooperation after generations of anger. Really? This is cultural cooperation, loaning some stuff back? You should be pissed off. That generations of anger should never go away. They killed your ancestors. They killed your kings. They destroyed your people to the point where you don't even recognize who you are anymore. Right? You don't even call yourselves. Your country doesn't even have the same name that it had before these devils showed up. It's called Ghana now. That wasn't the name of it. Right? That wasn't the name of your empire. That, you weren't using that type of language. But now, you know, these demons come and then they take all your things away, sell a bunch of your people into slavery, and you're just sitting there and now you're like, okay, you can loan us some stuff back. What the hell is that? You know, and maybe this serves them right because some of these, 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 uh, some of those uh, Ashante kings were involved in the slave trade. So maybe this serves them right that they had their gold crowns taken. But see, this is a lesson for for the Negro out here, whether it be here in America or globally, to understand that there is no alliance with white supremacy where he's not going to take from you as well. So a lot of these Negroes think that well, you know. I'll sell these out these black people over here because they're not my people, which makes no sense whatsoever. But they'll say, these are not my people. Let me sell these people out or sell these people to white folks or kill these people for white folks. And then they have no allies to help them when white folks finally turn on them. Then they're sitting there looking stupid. They're sitting in the slave ship and all their stuff being taken away or being executed, having their hands or their heads chopped off sitting around looking stupid like, oh, we trusted the white man. We actually trusted the demons that were murdering and kidnapping the other black people. How dumb do we look now? So that's a lesson for the Negro out here. They're, you know, you can't trust these demons out here. Even when they shake your hand and claim that they're going to honor a deal to you, they don't mean it. They don't think that you'd even deserve that honor of them having to hold to any type of deal with you because they see you as a savage. They see you as below them. And don't get it twisted. The the devils back then during colonialism are no different than the ones today. They both see you the same way. They both had the same mentality. You think that centuries of how they taught their children and centuries of how they thought about other races of the world, you think that all just went away? You think that all just disappeared? Because we're in quote-unquote modern times? I don't think so. Okay, and 
to be totally honest, that wasn't that long ago. 150 years is not that long ago. When you think about just the, the scale of human uh, existence and time itself, 150 years wasn't that long ago. You know what I'm saying? So we need to we need to understand that, both black people here and in the continent. We need to understand that. There is no alliance with these devils, and there is no agreement that you can make with these devils that they won't break. So you folks let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. I'd very much like to hear your opinions and what you have to say about this. But once again, this is just the height of caucasity. This is their culture. Steal from you and then try to loan your stuff back to you. And you're just supposed to forget about the last century and a half of destruction that they heaped upon your people. Fuck that. Anyway, this is Mad Black and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back.